How's it going folks? In this video, I walk through enabling the highly anticipated universal control feature in the Mac OS Monterey beta. And although it's far from perfect in its current state, I can see myself using this a lot. Now I usually have at least two Macs on my desktop at any given time. In this case, I actually have three. I have a Mac mini mounted under my desk, but here in this example, you can see I have my MacBook Pro connected to a Pro Display XDR, and I also have the M1 iMac. So basically, in this case, I have two different Macs side by side. So that means two sets of input devices, in this case, two Magic Keyboards, a Magic Trackpad, and a Magic Mouse all on my desk at the same time. So that really just takes up a lot of real estate and having to switch between the two is kind of cumbersome at times. Wouldn't it be better if you can control everything from one device or one set of devices? Well, that's how we're gonna control our iMac right here, just using this mouse and keyboard. So let me show you how to set it up first if you're running the Mac OS Monterey Beta. Special shout out to Joe Way for providing the ensemble.plist file necessary. So you wanna just right click on the raw button, select download as, save that to your desktop, just like I did right there, ensemble.plist. You can find the link in the description as well if you want to get here. Now, what I like to do to make it as easy as possible is just copy the directory that he provides. So in this case, library, preferences, feature flags, domain. So just copy that, command C, and then we'll use that in a terminal window. Uh, so keep in mind though that if you're going to do this, it is a beta. So I don't advise running a macOS beta on a machine that you rely on for mission critical work. Just keep that in mind. Your mileage may vary. So here in terminal, I'm gonna type sudo space mkdir dash p and then paste in the location of the folder. What this will do is create both the feature flags and domain folder, which don't yet exist on my macOS Monterey Beta 6 install. Now type open space and paste in the location again, followed by return, and that will open up that domain folder that we just created. Now simply drag the ensemble.plist over to that folder and then go ahead and enter your administrator password and then okay, there we go. So do that to any eligible Mac that you have running the Mac OS beta that you want to participate in universal control. Unfortunately, at this juncture, it doesn't yet work with the iPad, which is one of the, like, the key features to universal control. Uh, but that should be coming in the very near future. So here is how you can confirm that you have it working on your Mac. So you'll see under displays and system preferences, link keyboard and mouse, and then you will have the locations or the different machines. iPad is listed, but not yet functional. Now, if you go to advanced, you'll find a couple of options, allow your cursor and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. So that's basically just a global enable or disable for universal control. If you uncheck that, the option below is unchecked as well. The option below basically allows you to do what I'm doing here, move your cursor to the edge and push through over to a nearby Mac. And I'll demonstrate that for you again in just a second. But if you go back to system preferences displays, you'll see the display arrangement, including universal control devices. And there you can also disconnect from another Mac that's using universal control. So here you can see my mouse cursor at the edge and I can just push through just like this. So now I'm able to move my mouse freely between multiple devices. And the cool thing about this is that I can go in and you can see here the arrangement. I can go in here and rearrange these devices however I wish. So if I want my iMac to be you know, in a different position, if I wanna move that all the way over to the right, I could do that if I wanted to. But in this case, it's laid out exactly how I have the layout on my desktop. So my iMac to the left, the MacBook Pro connected to the Pro Display XDR on the right, with the XDR in the middle. All right, so here is the setup with universal control. So let's just move our mouse over and you can see you can just go ahead and push through just like this. Now you can easily move that cursor between the two Macs just like this, back, forth, back, forth. It's surprisingly seamless, surprisingly low latency. It's actually pretty awesome 
and I could definitely see myself using this even in its somewhat buggy state at this early juncture. But look how easy and seamless it is. These are two different Macs. These aren't connected in any way physically. So I have the MacBook Pro connected to my Pro Display XDR. So these are connected physically here, but I could have another Mac if I wanted to add it to the chain. You could see the iMac and then seamlessly move over to the MacBook Pro setup. And although, like I said, it is buggy, I was surprised by how little lag and how little delay there was when switching between multiple Macs wirelessly. And again, the neat thing is that a single mouse and keyboard from any of the Macs can control all the universal control devices. So you saw I was invoking Spotlight on my MacBook. I just moved over to the iMac and was able to invoke Spotlight right there on that iMac as well. So this could help to simplify your desktop Mac setup, removing excess mice and keyboards from your desktop and just relying on a single pair. Thumbs up if that sounds good to you. Now, of course, with my Pro Display XDR and my MacBook Pro, they're directly connected so I can easily move files between those two, but notice this. You can copy files between independent Macs connected via universal control. Now, of course, there are limitations. Like, obviously, you can't move a Finder window from one Mac to another or a Safari window from one Mac to the other. It's more or less a, a seamless way of copying files from one machine, whether it be a Mac or an iPad, to another. So like I said, this is still in beta, and obviously, this is a workaround to get universal control working in the Mac OS Monterey beta. Your mileage may vary. In the meantime, let me know what you folks think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.